Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can. Cool. So how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Good. Yeah, Sunday is a pretty cool day for me. I usually don't work. I just spend time with my family, do some fun stuff, relax. Yeah. So here in Vietnam, uh, the situation uh, of COVID-19, like, uh, gets um, worse because now five people died uh, due to uh, COVID-19. Uh, okay. Did that happen this past week? Mm, yeah. It's... Uh, Maybe happened last week uh, in the middle of Vietnam. Um, some some people from China they brought uh, COVID nineteen here, but now they have been arrested. They have been arrested. Maybe so they were they arrested mean, for bringing the disease, the virus. Yeah, yeah, right. Six Chinese guys, they brought coronavirus from China to Vietnam and they were arrested. Maybe they wouldn't be sent, sent to the jail. Oh, wow. Uh, so why were they arrested? Uh, because we have a law. Um, we, we we publish we publish and uh, we have a, a new law about somebody if uh, uh, break that law will be uh, arrested. Yeah, but what is the law? Like a um, national law that mention about uh, some. Mm, some criteria and some punishment uh, inside that. If they uh, um, investigate or they um, mm, disclose, they, they discover uh, somebody want to, uh, want to break the law to, um, to spread COVID-19 uh, to Vietnam or some places uh, in Vietnam, even Vietnamese citizens or uh, foreigners, they will arrest uh, them and bring them to the jail to sue, <laughs> to sue, right? Uh, to sue uh, is a little different from uh, being arrested. If you're sued, that means there's a, there's some kind of criminal uh, complaint. How the court um, juncture or to the court and uh, and juncture. You're saying special. juncture. Yeah, juncture and uh, judge. Judge and fine. Oh, a judge. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't understanding what you're saying at first, uh, but you're you're saying a judge. Yeah. We have uh, another person in the group. Uh, their microphone is muted, and there's no video. Yeah, so uh, to be sued um, is a, a type of um, 
it's like a a judicial uh, process where uh, it usually involves money. Um, for example, one person uh, does something bad to the other person, and then so the victim um, tries to get money from the person as compensation for the uh, the wrongdoing, whatever it was. Okay. So it's a different meaning, like uh, bring somebody to the cross uh, and uh, uh, imprison. Imprison. Bring them to the what? To the to the jail. <laughs> to jail. Or to yeah. Okay. To jail and to the court. I remember Course. that. Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. You don't want to say the jail unless you're talking about a specific jail, but in general, you wouldn't say the. So you would um, bring someone to jail. Okay. Bring some somebody to jail. Well, what if you unintentionally spread the disease, the virus? If you are not uh, like a de de deliberate, uh, you got uh, you got uh, infected from other, um, and uh, by accident, by accident. Uh, if they check and they investigate the, uh, the, uh, the survey that you you uh, uh, in ocean, mm, you were in ocean, they will they they would not uh, punish you or arrest you, but they they will put you in the uh, quarantine or. Uh, isolated uh, area uh, to kill or to hear it uh, and um, after like uh, 14 or 28 days they retest you recheck if you negative with COVID-19 they will release you mm -hmm. it will be released yeah okay yeah the pronunciation of area, you want to emphasize the first syllable, area. Area. There was something you said I didn't understand. Um, it sounded like the word started with an N, like a notion or something. Did you say something like that? Mm, no. Notion, no. Well, you were talking about um, an investigation. Uh, yes, investigate. Uh, I mean the verb. <coughs> Sorry. Investigation in now, right? Investigation what? Yes, they uh, like um, inspect. They inspect. What's the uh, synonym or uh, do survey? Do survey. S a survey. Uh, yeah to survey, they will survey and like a uh, inspect, inspect or uh, investigate. Inspect. Investigate, right? Investigate. Or we should, yeah. What was the last thing you said? Inspect. I mean, uh, policemen, policemen will uh, investigate or they will uh, inspect the information uh, that uh, how many destination you have been, you have visited, and how many people uh, you have met. So they will uh, record, they will record all the information and they make document uh, if intentionally uh, you got infected uh, COVID-19, uh, you, uh, you will be released. Uh, no, 
yeah, they don't, they will not uh, fight you or punish you. Uh-huh. The pronunciation of uh, document, you want to emphasize the document. first syllable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, document. Right. When you say inspect, you want to say the C at the end, inspect, inspect. Inspect. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. So, so they do research. They, uh, they do an investigation and they determine whether, um, see, um, what's a little confusing to me is, um, is how, how they can prove that, uh, it was like intentional. I mean, yeah. no, no one gets the virus intentionally, right? Yeah, um, you know, they track, uh, they track and they, uh, they uh, collect, they collect information, um, the time and the place you have visited and they will compare, they will compare and um, of course they will, uh, they will do the research uh, with, uh, they will get information from other people around you. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, they want to know the first uh, person and the first uh, place you, uh, you got uh, infected uh, with mm -hmm. coronavirus. Sure. So all of those are um, private or uh, personal information will be uh, disclosed or announced uh, on public. If it will be released you, to the public. Yeah, they will release your information, your personal or individual uh, information on public uh, for everyone who ever met you uh, mm -hmm. will um, quickly or immediately uh, visit hos the nearest uh, hospital uh, to test and check if they uh, got affected or not. Right. And uh, we have an electric, uh, electrical device uh, for announcement for, uh, mm, I mean, registration uh, by, um, mm, by app. We created some app for every citizen whoever visited uh, that location, that destination from the 1st of July uh, to uh, till now, when uh, fill the form. Um, what destination did you say? Online. Uh, I mean... You said a word what? right before destination, and I wasn't sure what that was. Mm, yeah, places or destination. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. When, Whoever, when, you, when you would who, visit what destination? Uh, da Nang is at the center of Vietnam. Very famous for tourism. Okay. I wrote a couple notes. Um, public. Okay, we can say this a couple ways. Um, we were talking about releasing the information. We can say, uh, release it to the public. So you want to use the preposition to. Yeah, release to. Or you can use um, public as an adverb, publicly. You release it publicly. The word collect. You want to emphasize the collect. last syllable, collect. Yeah, collect. 
And the pronunciation of the word first, it's the, the vowel sound uh, together with the R sounds like er first. Uh. Mm -hmm. Try to say that word again. First. First. Okay. And so you said they have a an electronic device. Yeah. Electronic and device. The, yeah. Does this app? device uh, is it an app or is it a device? Mm, app application. It's an app. Okay. I was thinking that you might be talking about a device that they put on people who have the virus and then you can use an app to, uh, to see the location of these people so you can avoid them. Mm. Yep. Yeah, I, I guess you weren't have, talking about that. We, we don't have a, a device, uh, but they, um, they create some application and software on the phone. So they will remind you uh, if somebody uh, surround you got infected uh, coronavirus or they uh, ever visited Da Nang, they will remind you. That's uh, the phone, on the phone, on the smartphone. Uh-huh, right. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Do you have this app? Yeah, all of us uh, download it and install it. We already installed it. Okay. Say, say that one more time. Uh, who has already installed it? Yeah, who, uh, who, who has already yeah, I didn't, I didn't hear what the subject of that was. You, you, you're talking about people installing it. Uh, who? We, we already. Oh, we. We already, yeah. We already uh, install, install or set up uh, two, two words you can use, right? Install or set up. Yes. Yeah. App. Install. You want to emphasize the last syllable. Install. Install. So when you say we, who are you talking about? We, I mean, all Vietnamese citizen. <laughs> okay. Everyone in the country. Yep. Who has a smartphone. Yep. I guess there are a lot of people that don't have a smartphone there. Oh, um, no, I think seven or 70 or 80% they have a smartphone. 17 or 70? 70. 70. <laughs> uh, okay. 70 or 80%. Yep. Okay, yeah, that's a lot. Even two, two smartphones. <laughs> Are smartphones cheap or expensive there? Um, it depends on the branch and the producer. The uh, brand. Some, yeah, the brand. If uh, it comes from Samsung or uh, Apple. A famous brand is going to be uh, more expensive than like a uh, um, uh, Oppo, Oppo or Xiaomi or other is uh, yeah from one hundred uh, one hundred US dollars to uh, five hundred or ten. Ten, yeah, one thousand US dollars. Yeah. Are those uh, national companies? Are they Vietnamese? Mm, yeah, we have some MNC. Okay. 
That's I think that's for for resembling. For reassembling. Yep. Okay. I'm sure you have some Chinese brands that are very cheap. Yeah, Xiaomi. You heard? Have you heard about Xiaomi or Huawei? I don't think so. Xiaomi. Xiaomi. <laughs> you have heard about uh, Chinese brand Xiaomi. No. It's very high quality, but uh, the price is very reasonable. Okay. Mm. Probably because they have a little children manufacturing them for a very cheap. Maybe, maybe, but um, the um. I don't know about the, they are maybe manufacturing uh, on a large scale or some like a mass production and the copyright some problem about uh, uh, intellectual copyright they can imitate uh, other version something like that but uh, they can imitate what I mean technology and some mm, secret, uh, some some secret technology, or um, they can uh, imitate, or they can copy or dupli duplicate. They can copy what? Uh, they, they they copy the. Um, I mean the methodology of the machine, they copy the way how to produce uh -huh. uh, yeah, other version of um, smartphone like uh, some chip or some uh, deep, uh, some um, items, some items uh, inside that, they, yeah. Sure. They very <laughs> smart guy uh, and is uh, very, um, like a um, quick for them to duplicate that's the technology so it's cheaper than uh, the original version right so this word uh, technology yeah technology yeah the ch it just sounds like a k tech, tech. yeah technology Technology. Secret. You want to pronounce that E like the letter E. Okay, secret. Right. Make sure you're emphasizing that first syllable. Okay, thank you. Secret. And the word duplicate. Duplicate. Right. Duplicate. And origin. Origin. Good. Origin. So, so they they copy the technology of other companies. Yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah. And sell they it try for to cheaper. find out any way to yeah to copy it. <laughs> yeah. They have Chinese spies. Chinese what? Spies. Okay, spy. Uh -huh. Okay. There's a really good series about Russian spies in the United States called mm. The Americans. Oh. It's a really cool show. I recently finished watching all oh. six seasons of it. I like so, spy shows. They're very, uh, very suspenseful and exciting. So a lot of information, important information, like um, from uh, politicians or uh, some key uh, policy uh, information of, from your country 
uh, from other country will be um, exploited by uh, spies. Yeah, right. Oh. Yeah, the show that I was watching was set during the Cold War. Okay, Cold War. Uh -huh. I believe in the, the early 1980s. It was around that time. Okay, 1980. 20, like 40 years ago. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, almost 40 years ago. Yeah. That's now scary. I was born in the 80s. Okay. It doesn't seem like 40 years ago. Oh, really? It's not like a uh, black and white uh, screen? <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, I was born in 1986. Mm -hmm. And uh, we definitely had color TVs. But yeah, the technology wasn't great. So what That's do you have planned for today? Mm -hmm. Today, actually, in my country now, uh, on Monday, uh, 8.30 in the morning, uh, this week we will start our new school year, but temporary we uh, we are waiting for the schedule and uh, the uh, plan because now a lot of people uh, have got uh, uh, affected with COVID-19. So um, we will have a meeting uh, on Friday to decide that uh, we will teach online or apply. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, um, I'm preparing some uh, document and some materials, uh, lectures for my uh, new school year. Okay. So you can say um, online or uh, in person. Yeah, online or yes. face to face, right? Face to face or in person. Uh huh. Make sure you're seeing the S at the end of uh, these plural words, like some documents. Some documents. Right. Yeah. I like teaching online. It's easier. It's more convenient. It's more comfortable. Mm. And uh, no detraction. Say it again. No detraction from home. I mean, from the side. I'm not sure no what detraction. word you're saying. I, I want to ask about, uh, is there any detraction from home? Distraction? Yeah. Oh, okay. Say that word again. Distraction. Detraction. Okay, it's an S, so it's this. This. Traction. 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 Distraction. Detraction. Yeah, you, you want to say that the S on this. Distraction. Distraction. This, like a. Um, um, Prefix, prefix, this, this traction, right? Well, here, let me let me write it here, just to make sure we're trying to say the same word. Yeah, detraction. What detracted? Distraction. Yeah, right. So this Distraction. is the word you were trying to say. Yeah, right. Yeah, so you want to, you want to be sure you're saying the S in this, this, and this, then you, 
And even if you, you separate the two sounds, you can add the S to the front of the second, uh, the second sound too. Distraction. Distraction. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Ah, uh, the ah, uh, right? Ah, uh, sound. Distraction. Add distraction. But the uh, the uh, stress on on the second uh, voice, the second sound. Yeah, the second syllable is stressed. Syllable, yeah. Distraction. Uh, sometimes there are some small distractions like uh, my daughter she likes to talk to my students she's sleeping now because it's it's over it's past 10 30 but uh during the day in the afternoon she likes to come mm -hmm. around and she she tries to talk to me or she tries to talk to my students mm -hmm. she likes to to show off her her english skills Oh, very <laughs> um, cute. Yeah, but what I noticed is that the students have less distractions when they're studying from their own homes rather than together mm. in the classroom. Right, right. Which is good. Right, um, but in my uh, country, uh, students uh, um detracted from home a lot, like um, helping their parents to do some housework uh, during the lesson. So um, I don't like that. So they do housework during class. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, so very crazy. I don't like that. Not easy to tell them, uh, please don't do housework and please uh, turn on your camera. Um, they always complain that, oh, teacher, uh, my camera uh, is uh, broken down and um, some internet connection problem or something like that. Or oh, they complain. Uh, they don't want to open their camera or Mm, they, they they don't want to stop uh, to do some work or surround them. Like, uh, please, uh, can you give me some minutes? I uh, will come back soon or something like that. I don't like that. Right. Yeah, most of my students are adults, so I don't have that problem. I do teach at a, a school here in Brazil, and I, I have a couple groups of teenagers. Okay. Um, and they're not too bad, uh, especially at home. When they're separated, uh, they're pretty well behaved. Oh, the class is going to end soon. I have a, a free Zoom account, and there's a, a time limit you have to pay for like unlimited time in the session. So it's going to end soon. I wrote some notes. Um, always, make sure you're saying the S at the end. Always. Yeah, always. Okay. Um, you said the ca their camera uh, is broken down. Now this phrasal verb, uh, break down, broken down, it's commonly used with um, machinery or especially cars, trucks, my car broke down. Um, I wouldn't use it with a camera. I would just say broken, the camera is broken without down. Okay, no down. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you said open the camera. I wouldn't say oh, open. Turn, turn, turn the camera on, right? Yeah, exactly. That's better. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, I would like to continue giving classes online for the rest of my teaching career. I think it's great. Yes. You know, I think teaching is, is a job that isn't really necessary to be done in person. Um, one, one difference is the, the blackboard or the chalkboard that you have in the classroom, right? Mm -hmm. But there are other ways, there are virtual um, substitutions for that. Yep. Right. It is convenient yep. just to have the board to write notes whenever you want. Yep. I can just write on my wall. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> my wife wouldn't like that. Mm. But you usually use the like white board, not here in Vietnam, they supply black board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, a whiteboard is more common here. Yeah. Uh, I've seen I've seen chalkboards too, uh, especially in public schools. They have a lot of chalkboards, which are the the green boards. Mm. So uh, you said that you have some class for. Uh, classes for um, teenager. Yeah, I have a couple of teenage groups. Mm. How old are they? Uh, they are in their early teens, probably from 13 to 15 or 16 years old. Mm. Uh, so I, I like the teenage groups. Most of the teenage groups um, are are pretty good at English. They, they generally have a, a high level. Mm. Usually there'll be students who started studying when they were really young. So by the time they're teenagers, their English is pretty solid. Mm. Very solid. What is the final word? Solid. Oh, solid. So, like uh, solid liquid gas, mm. right? Like the states of matter. It's an expression. If something is solid, it means it's strong or it's, it's really good. Like uh, that, the S A L U T E. Here, I'll write it for you. It's S O L I D. Okay. Solid. Solid. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's say you're you're good at something. You can say you're solid. Yeah. Like uh, the the background is very solid, very good, right? The background. Yeah. I mean the knowledge, uh, background knowledge. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, you have solid knowledge, sure. Actually, that's uh, some, there are some, not some, a lot of um, passive words for me. I never use or uh, some words I just uh, remember and I never make, uh, make sentences with that word or I want to, I want to um, make some uh, passive words into active uh, words. Right. Yeah. Um, I would say that it more of uh, informal vocabulary is uh, it's good to incorporate, especially when you're a, a, a foreign student. Mm. A lot of my students use more formal words 
than is normal for a native speaker. So that example, solid. It's a, a slang, right? Oh, really? Uh -huh. Slang. And uh, yeah, slangs and expressions. What is the different? Me. What is different between a uh, slang and uh, idioms? Okay. Well, uh, in general, an idiom is usually like a longer phrase, mm -hmm. and a slang is usually just like one or two words. Oh. Uh, I, I'd say that's, that, that's the main difference. Okay. There, there's one other difference. Slangs can be more, um, more regional or they can be um, selective to a particular group of people. For example, young people would say particular um, slang vocabulary and old people would have others. And idioms mm -hmm. are more universal. Okay. Uh, but which one is more uh, formal to use uh, in daily life? More formal? Yep. Well, s slangs are almost always informal, okay? Uh -huh. okay. Idioms are usually informal also, although there are some formal idioms. There are some idioms for um, formal contexts, like business idioms, for example. Whereas slangs wouldn't be very common in more formal contexts. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so uh, you mean slang, uh, everybody when uh, prefer using in uh, daily life right. than uh, idiom. Yeah. Sure. Hey, listen, this class has less than a minute. Okay, so let's say goodbye before it, it stops. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm, sure. I'm very happy to talk and to speak English. Yes, uh, much improved uh, for me. Good. Thank you so much. It's mm -hmm. my pleasure. Yeah, I, I note a lot here, my mistake of my pronunciation. Good, great. <laughs> thank you cool. so much. Sure, so maybe I'll see you next week. Yep, see you, thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome, bye. Bye. Yeah.